Hello gaming world, welcome to Jhad Gaming, I'm Jhad, and this is part 7 of the Last of Us Survival Walkthrough. If you guys are new to the channel, then please subscribe, I would very much love the support. And if you guys also like the video, then please leave a like down below. With that out of the way guys, uh, let's get to work. Let's go to work, rather. So yeah, this part... This part here is kind of difficult if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, but don't worry, old Jay Hyde here will get you through it. Right now, I'm right now I'm just looking to see if I'm passing up any supplies or crafting materials. You kind of want to do that in this game because you never know what you're going to pass up. Down here, down here, there's about two clickers, it's a good drop. and you can avoid them easily. Like seriously, like the one in the shed, you don't really need to kill him at all. Like all he's guarding is just a rag. That's it. And I don't even know how much of a rag. It could be a full rag, it could be a half a rag. Uh I'll show you guys right here. You see, you see that little thing sitting on the shelf? Yeah, that's a rag. I don't know how much of a rag, so uh, thinking about sh I was thinking about shiving it, but then I was like, no, no, never mind. I I'll leave that up to some other poor sucker. Uh, as of right now, um, I'll, I'm just gonna let him continue sleeping. So there's a door over here to the left. Yeah. Well, to the right now. And you open it up very quietly. And once you're inside, you you don't have to worry about uh, you don't have to worry about crouching. You can stand up, as Ellie is showing here, making me right? feel stupid. I'm trying to learn how to whistle. You don't know how to whistle. I don't know how old I was whenever I was first learning how to whistle. I, I think I was her age. I think I was 14 whenever I was wanting to learn how to whistle. I can't remember. I know I wasn't real good at it. But, anyway here craft a shiv because this is a shiv door and you're going to want the supplies out of it regardless of what it is I mean it's a shiv door it's going to have good stuff like supplements, parts, ammo so and notice that Joel and Ellie here are going to talk real quiet that's because that the clickers are like right around the corner it's jammed from the other side here boost me up uh -huh. Sounds such a good idea. Well, I can't boost you up. How else are we gonna get over there? All right, come here. Give me your foot. Now listen, you just open it, okay? Nothing else. Sure thing. And also notice once you walk through the door, Ellie closes the door behind you. As in, in other in other parts, like if you kill the both clickers right she won't bother closing the door she'll just leave it open but here she'll close it so it's pretty that's pretty cool so and right here so let's say we get a car from this buddy of yours then what well, more dialogue Marlene said he's your brother and more important he was a firefly he'd know where to take you oh okay he lives far from here, which is why we need the car. So right here, you're going to notice a bad transition. Oh, it wasn't that bad of a transition. So right here is the shiv trick, where if you swap weapons, you be able to have an infinite number of shivs. But one of them, I believe, has to be modded. One weapon has to be modded. You have to switch it out. 
See, like I'll show you here. Switch. Switch to the modded weapon. Bag. Shiv. Switch. Switch to the modded weapon. And I have one full set. So. And you're going to want to keep the modded, uh, the modded melee weapon. That is the Shiv. Uh, they call it the infinite Shiv glitch, but it's not really infinite. Um, because I'd be able to run out of these. It's more of like a... Not, it's not really an exploit, but it is very helpful whenever you need a Shiv. They creep me out. And you don't have one, All right, yeah. or if you're low on shivs, and you know in a certain area that you're going to need them, it's very handy. Um, kind of, kind of curious why they, they never patched that. So maybe they left that in there for like a hidden trick area. Maybe who knows? Uh, the the big point is is that they left it in out of the numerous patches that they put in this game so they probably felt like eh we'll give it to them it's survival and grounded walkthrough whatever right here is going to be a optional oh, conversation would you play this before nah but I had a friend that knew everything about this game apparently there's this character called Angel Knives, who'd, uh, what was it? She'd punch a hole through your stomach before kicking your head off. <laughs> uh, I was never a big fan of these things. I wish I could play it. Whatever, Joel. Whatever, man. Joel had to been like an Atari guy growing up. I mean, uh, <laughs> he, had, he had to have played some Atari. <laughs> Had to. Maybe he was a Pong guy. I don't know. He's. He. I don't know. It doesn't look like he's that old, but I guess. Twenty years. He'd be born in the seventies. Seventies. Is that right? No. No. He had to been like born in the eighties. Yeah. Yeah. He had to be born in like the eighties, or or maybe the nineties. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not all real good with math. So anyway, here's a firefly pendant up on top of this uh, RV. Over here is a combination note to a locker. Ellie. 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 There, there, you, there she is. So over here, you're going to see a note. It's going to have a combination on it. I'm not going to view it because I already know what it is. And all the way back here is going to be a safe. Where it's going to have parts and supplements, I do believe. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know really, I don't know what to talk about really. Uh, nothing much really. Uh, I just got done watching all of season 5 of Hell on Wheels. Man, Which is a really good TV show. It's nothing like Game of Thrones. And uh, what do you think? Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm like a big fan into like Western movies. Most I'm a didn't. big Clint Eastwood fan. Man, so I've I think I've seen every like Clint Eastwood like film there's been out. The so uh, and whenever Rockstar. Uh, came out with Red Dead Redemption I was all for it and whenever I played Red Dead Redemption it didn't actually it didn't feel like I was playing a game it felt like I was playing it felt like I was playing a movie if that makes any sense like I actually felt like I was a part of a western film and it was just Man, this is kinda sad. I don't know it was what just is? so good all this music that's just sitting here no one's around to listen to it I don't know it doesn't seem right And three, two, one. Jesus. Yep. That was perfectly timed, too. Anyway, 
Would be one of Bill's. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, Your friend a bit yeah, Hell on Wheels is, is a really good Western TV show. If you guys have never seen it, uh, it's on Netflix. Um, I believe there's. I believe it's five seasons. It's either five or four seasons. I can't remember. It's probably four seasons, and I just miscounted them. Um, so it's on AMC. So you know, if you guys like The Walking Dead or you know, um, Better Call Saul, then uh, it's on AMC, and it's the same people. Who make it? So you know it's going to be a good TV show. If you if you're into like those Western type eras, then, then Hell on Wheels is a good show for you. Joel, pick that up. Pick it up, Joel. You're making me look bad, buddy. You're making me look noobish. Come on. Come on, Joel. Come on, man. Psh. Jeez, Joel. So yeah, no, I would. I wish they would make like a remake of Red Dead Redemption for the PS4. That would just make me so happy. Cover each other. I don't think so. Because Red Dead Redemption is like one of those games I loved playing because it had like that Western area, Western era feel to it. And I don't know. I hear they're gonna make a sequel to Red Dead Redemption, but that wouldn't make too much sense, would it? I mean, Jack. At the end of the game, he got like closure clear, for getting revenge at the death of his father. So, I mean, first game was Red Dead Revolver, second game was Red Dead Redemption, and neither two stories had anything to do with each other. So, if it was going to be another Red Dead uh, game, it would probably be like a different story, but still within the same uh, Western uh, feel to it. So. That'd be interesting. I, I want to see what uh, what other stories they could tell. It'd be kind of interesting. Maybe if they went with uh, something like with uh, bank robberies or something like that. Um, I don't I don't know what Red Dead Revolver was. I I've never played that, but I heard it was really good. Um, oh, and right here, what you go what you guys are gonna want to do. No, Joel, come on, man, get down. Making me look doomish, noobish here. Come on, thank you. You're gonna want to crouch, pull out your uh, arrow, and crouch walk because you'll move at your slowest speed. What you're gonna want to do is, is that you're gonna want uh, a headshot. When you headshot uh, an enemy with an arrow, uh, you'll get your arrows back. You'll have a better chance of getting your arrows back with a headshot than you can with a body shot. So, now listen. keep that in mind. Bill ain't exactly the most so individuals. And so we get that there, right there is the you place where we're going, the, the church. You understand? So, I like how they put the destination in the background. You gotta be clear on like, this. Like, uh, kind of foreshadowing. Don't take too kind that's of kind of a, All right. that's kind of a nice a touch. Guy, and that right there, I've always wondered if you could, like, go up those, uh, up those steps and on top of that roof, but I, there's really like no way to get up there. So it makes it, I don't know, it's very curious. Makes me very curious to know what's there, you know. So, but yeah, anyway. Uh, never played Red Dead Re Revolver, so I don't know. What the story of it was about, but if they ever do make like another Red Dead game, I hope it has something to do with like. Uh, I hope it has something to do with like um, bank robberies and stuff like that. You know, kind of like yeah. cowboys and you know outlaw feel to it. You know, see what we can find. I feel like that would be kind of cool. So you know, uh, worry. Train robberies, you know, busting safes, you know, riding on horses, that guy, that type of stuff. So, uh, it would be kind of cool to see what kind of sequel or another Red Dead game would be like from Rockstar. I really like their games. Um, like L.A. Noir had like a, the same had like the same feel to it as well. It didn't. I didn't feel like I was playing a game. 
I felt like I was playing more of a movie than anything else. Um, so, and I, I like that whole 1950s cops and robbers also. I don't know. I'm kind of an old soul when it comes to when it comes to things like that. I don't know why. I get, I just am. Um, L.A. Noir was a really good game. Red Dead Redemption was a really good game. And I've had the same feel too. Whenever I play, um, um, let's get the hell out of here. Wow, the name escapes me. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Five. Yeah. Wow. Jeez. Cannot believe I forgot Grand Theft Auto Five. Um, first Grand Theft Auto game I ever played was GTA Four. That's one way to do it. Uh, yeah. And uh, and um. I was like, oh wow, this is a really good game. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try out my luck on uh, on GTA 5 and see how it goes. I played it, and I didn't get the exact feel that I did with GTA 4. With GTA 4, I felt like I was playing a game. With GTA 5, I mean, there was, so, it, it, there was so good storytelling in it. I felt like I was playing a movie. Just the same as I was with Red Dead Redemption and L.A. Noir. So, I don't know... Rockstar has been very, they've been, I've been real impressed with them lately, so keep it up, Rockstar. I got you. Damn it, Bill. And, uh, what just happened? so, yeah. Another one of Bill's stupid traps. So, yeah, this part right here is going to be, is going to be there. kind of, uh, that fridge, it looks like that's a counterweight. Okay. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, kind of hard to describe. Not like if there was like another word for hard. Yeah, difficult, uh, challenging. <laughs> uh, I, I think all of those words would do this. Uh, uh, this part here in justice. Uh, what you're gonna want to do is. Just tend to the rope. That I didn't wait for. Is that you're gonna wait for these like infected to get up real close to you. Now you only get two of these. So this one right here is fighting his way to get to me. So I'm gonna shoot him in the head. Now if another guy came up to me and he did that, I'd be starting this over. So uh, luckily this is the first try. Uh, what you're going to want to do is, is that you're going to wait for the infected to get up close. That way you'll have like a better chance of hitting them. Uh, clickers are two headshots, four body shots. Come on, you can do it. Two two headshots or four body shots to take them down. And the um, and the infected, the runners, they're one headshot or two body shots to down them. So. Now this part here, you're gonna want to like get get them like away from Ellie. And I cannot reload fast enough apparently. So there we go. they're getting close. Hey over here! And my aim is just all over the place. Look at this. Ellie shouldn't have no trouble now. And now we got now we got Bill here. Good old William. Oh, yeah, I was talking about good games and how they make me feel. Anyway, The Last of Us is another one of those good games that I just absolutely love. Um, I don't know if I've touched on this before, 
but um, oh, this part right here. Um, this part. Mm, I, I I used my upgraded melee to uh, get the clicker out of the way because I mean you can you can fist brawl a runner. And I'm just gonna like get this one here. Oh, I got the chance. There you go. And this one right here, Bill takes out after. Well, you'll see. Uh, anyway, like I don't know. Uh, first Naughty Dog game I think I ever played was Uncharted 3, and I wasn't really all that impressed with it. Yeah, here, there's Bill. Um, I wasn't all real too impressed with it. I know. I mean, right. everyone Come loves on, it. I didn't get that, you know, loving feel for it. I felt like I was playing Tomb Raider meets Indiana Jones, kind of. Which I kind of like. I mean, I, yeah. I mean, it, that, that part there made me feel good. Um, but I don't know what it is about The Last of Us. I really love it so much. And now whenever I saw the E3 trailer for Uncharted 4... I was like, Thanks. I cannot wait for Uncharted 4 for some reason. I don't know why. I'm looking forward to it. Ellie. Hey, what are you... Joel? Bill. What are you doing? Bill. Turn around and get on your knees. Just calm down a second. Turn around All right. and get on your knees. Don't test me. Just take it easy. Any bites? No. Anything sprouting? Oh, God damn it, I'm clean. Well, I see so much as a trick. Ow! Stop! Son of a bitch! You done? Am I done? You come into my house. You set off all my traps. You damn near break my shooting arm. Who the fuck is this punk and what's she doing here? I am none of your goddamn business. And we're here because you owe Joel some favors. And oh. you can start by taking these off. I owe Joel some favors. Is some kind of joke? I'll cut to the chase. I need a car. Well, it is a joke. Joel needs a car. Well, if I had one that works, which I sure as hell don't, what makes you think I'd just give it to you? Huh? Yeah, sure, Joel. Go ahead. Take my car. Take all my food, too, while you're at it. By the looks of it, you could lose some of that food. Listen to me, you little shit. No, fuck you! You handcuffed me! I need you to shut up. All right? Whatever favors you think I owe you ain't worth that much. Actually, Bill, they are. Well, it don't matter because I don't have a car that works. But there is one in this town. Parts. There are parts in this town. Meaning that you could fix one up. All right. If I'm going to do this, there's some gear I'm going to need. All right. It's on the other side of town. Now you help me go gather it, and maybe I can put something together that runs. But after this, I owe you nothing. That's fine. A couple of days from now, we'll probably be dead anyway. Good. Follow me. Whole goddamn town's booby trap. Best stay right on my ass. Can't miss it. Knock it off. All right. Whatever supplies you may want or need, I suggest you grab them. All right, thank you. Ellie, take a look around, see if there's anything we can use. All right. So uh, yeah, right here we're gonna see the uh, the um, the shiv glitch or the shiv uh, the secret shiv technique, I guess. I don't know what you would call this. And we got three shivs and one full set, just like that. Man, he's got a fucking stick up his ass. He's Stay out of his way. Wow, that's actually the first time I ever heard that dialogue before. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's the first time I actually heard that one. And I've I played this game so many times. Like I I've pretty much heard a lot of dialogue between Ellie and Bill and Joel and the first time I ever heard that one. So Here's an optional conversation. You know this? Yeah. Part of the trophy. Pretty badly, yeah. I always wanted to learn. Hey! 
Bobby Fisher, don't touch anything on that board. Bobby, what? Hey, just let it go. So yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's gonna do it for this video here, guys. For coming up here up on the end of this video. Found everything you need. We're good. Leave the door open. I got it. We have to cross to the other building. Up the stairs. Let's move it. Just stay with me. Can't believe you agreed to this bullshit, Bill. What you should have done was just left him back there. <sighs> you weren't kidding about him. Yeah, he's one of a kind. So yeah, anyway, that's gonna do it for this video here, guys. That's uh that's Bill and Ellie for you. Uh, if you guys like the video, then please leave a like down below. If you guys are new to the channel, then please subscribe. I would very much love the support. And uh, with that out of the way, guys, I appreciate you all watching. And until next time, see you all later.